Hey guys, so I'm going to do a little demo for you today on how I use the Chanel bronzer, the universal, the cream one. I've been asked quite a few times to do that and I've shown this product in a lot of my um, favorites videos. I love the color, I love the texture, um, at first it's a little bit tricky and a lot of you watch those videos um, and probably many others on this product and decided to purchase it and you're having a hard time you know, trying to get it to not look too dark or too orange. So um, that's why I'm going to do this for you today. The foundation that I have on today is actually Estee Lauder's Double Wear. I know a lot of you have that and love it, um, so I decided to wear that one today. I am in the color Linen, and um, it might be slightly, slightly too light for me, um, but I'd rather go slightly lighter than too dark because you can always bronze up a little bit and get that color back. So I'm going to start with the product here. This is what it looks like. And look, I actually hit pan yesterday. Can you see it? I can't see it in that uh, reflection there. Right there in the middle, there's a teeny tiny hole. I don't know why I cannot see it when I look in the camera, but I can see it when I look here. I don't know if you guys can see it either, but anyways, the brush I'm using, um, I don't know if I'd recommend it to be honest because this looks pretty bad. It's a Sigma SS 168, and I have other Sigma brushes that I really like that have held up really well but this particular one it's the angled one I don't even want to show it to you it looks like I've back combed it in the middle it's just looks fried and just <laughs> I just need another one but it it works you know especially for this because it's nice and dense but I'm sure there's uh, better out there that I could be using for this so I just take it like that and if you want you can use the cap just to try to you know, get a little bit off or rub it in your brush a little bit better. And I always start on my forehead, which I should move my hair for you. And one sec. Okay, I start on my forehead and I typically start kind of like in the middle right here and then work my way to both sides. I don't have a mirror to look in except for far over there. I have another vanity. So if you see me peeking over there, that's what I'm doing. This reflection here does nothing for me because the image is still upside down. So. And it's better to start off with just a little product you can always build it. So then I'm going to get a little bit more and I'm just going to hit right here, kind of right on the cheekbone and maybe slightly under, little circular motions. I'm going to meet those two right here. Okay, just a tiny bit more and I'm just going to do my jaw area. And then you'll want to sweep it down. I just took a little bit more product. And again, meeting them up here. And since I'm doing this, I may as well do the blush and the highlight for you as well. So whatever's left on my brush, I usually just take down my neck and swirl it around here. Next I'm going to take NARS Albatross and I'm going to take, uh, let's see, this is a Sigma SS188 and this one's actually held up pretty well. I'm just going to take a little bit and then tap off and run it down my nose on my chin 
take a little more. Sorry, me ringtone. And right on the top of my cheekbones right here. If you like, you can also do your forehead. I usually don't, but if I did, I'd probably just put a little right in the middle. So my phone's out of reach and it's Halloween, so it's okay. And then for blush, I'm using Lorax Exposed, which is gorgeous, and my dome fell off. And so I've been just using the rest, and I'm going to get another one because I just love this. Um, this brush is an MUD uh, blush brush in number 710, and I really love these MUD brushes. Other side, which I have no mirror, so I'll just wing it. I'm a little dangerous with the blush, I can keep going and going. I think that's good, and that's it. And um, if you like a little bit more, you know, shimmery kind of a dewy look, then Candlelight from Laura Mercier is perfection. I'm just going to get a little bit in the lid and then find my brush. Okay, I usually use a stippling brush for this and this one happens to be a Sonia Kashuk stippling. And I just got the tiniest bit in there. Tapping it off and then just hit right on top, a little down the nose. And then what's rest, I would take down my neck and onto my chest. So that's it. That's how I use my Chanel bronzer. And for those of you who got it um, or struggling with it, do not give up on it. It takes a little bit of time to get used to and the right amount of product on the brush. But as you can see, I think it warms up the face just beautifully and I'm very light skin like I said the foundation I'm using is linen which is um, one of their lightest ones usually in MAC I'm NC20 sometimes even NC15 um, more into the winter so yeah don't give up on it and thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye everyone